Hi everyone, I'm Kerstin, but you can also call me Katie. And this is Arne, and um, he just started uh, astrophotography like one year ago. And um, yeah, I, lo I love joining him every now and then, like whenever I find the time. And I actually learned quite a bit about the sky myself and where to find what, when. And um, yeah, so uh, for our first video, we'll be showing you how we photograph photographed Messier 81, also known as Bode's Galaxy. And um, yeah, despite this, we did despite some really challenging conditions. The weather was not in our favor. Clouds always rolling in and wind up to force four made the setup unstable. Quite a few shots were ruined because of the clouds. Our night sky is quite light blue. We are in a water six zone. This means the city lights wash out faint objects like distant galaxies and nebulae, which will make it tough to observe and photograph tonight's target, Messier 81. On this star map you can see both galaxies we want to photograph, Bode's galaxy and just above it, the Ziga galaxy. Our little one and I were setting up the telescope. He's always excited about it, but making sure nothing breaks is another thing. Still I'm happy every time he helps me. The initial telescope alignment always begins during the day. We set the telescope up and make sure it is aligned to the north. In the evening we use the polar scope with markings for better visualization. When we first set up in the evening, we realized quickly that some trees were blocking our sight. So we changed the location a bit. We are using a 150mm 6 inch f4 Newtonian reflector telescope. It isn't a beginner telescope, but it is perfect for our setup, as we have not the strongest telescope mount and it is fantastic for gathering light. This is crucial for us, especially with strong winds, because a smaller lighter setup means less shakiness on our mount. Our imaging camera is the ZWOASI585. While primarily a planetary camera and small pixel size is ideal for our telescope's focal length. The star map shows what our camera sensor can photograph. The white frame around the two galaxies symbolizes the dimensions of our camera. The weather was stormy and cloudy, but for a short time the sky cleared up. In the test shot for the two second exposure, we can already see both galaxies inside the frame. Let's see what the first 30 second exposure brings us. Quite a bit of detail already. You can see the spiral arms in Bode's galaxy and many details in Messier 82. The reason is that it's a starburst galaxy with many young stars and therefore it's a really active and bright galaxy. The wind really made the stars look a bit like eggs instead of perfect pinpoints. The gusts were unpredictable, so we decided to stick with 30 second exposures to minimize the number of unusable frames. And yes, the final stacked image turned out much better, as you will see in the final image. The wind ended up ruining about a third of our pictures. You can clearly see it in the autoguarding software that corrects small movements if the telescope, due to wind and other influences, is shaking. Every time the graph struck out heavily, we had a gust of wind, and a lot of pictures came there for our glory. After that, however, we had 30 minutes of excellent guiding that required only minor corrections. These adjustments were primarily to compensate for the normal mechanical imperfections in the mount's drive system. Around 3 a.m. I packed up my gear and called it a night. The end uh, result turned out to be quite good from our perspective because, well, uh, yeah, given the 
the challenging conditions and Bode's galaxy was visible in the individual 30 seconds exposures. But there were uh, quite a lot of details missing, especially in its spiral arms. So, um, but however, both galaxies looked fantastic in the final image. Remember why? Because of the stacking. Hmm. We will definitely be revisiting both um, galaxies in the future. But for now, this is, um, this is what we achieved. And for now, that's just fine with us, uh, especially given yeah, the clouds and the windy night. And yeah, it was a great start from our perspective and absolutely worth going out. See you. See you.